Okay, in today's video, we're going to go over another example for momentum and elastic collisions. And as you can see, this is example number three. And this is the situation we have. We have two masses. We have a ball with a mass of 3.8 kilograms and moving velocity of 8.0 or 8 meters per second. And it collides with a second mass. It's a ball also has a second mass. The mass of the M2 is 1.5 kilograms and it's moving in the same direction with a velocity of 2.5 meters per second. We are gonna take this as a perfectly elastic collision and we wanna know what is the velocity of each of the balls, each of the masses after the collision. So what I like to do first is because we have two masses and two velocities, I like to write everything down, make kind of a little uh, table here, not really a table, just write everything down. We have M1, 3.8 kilograms. Its velocity is eight meters per second and M2 is 1.5 kilograms and its uh, velocity is, its initial velocity is 2.5 meters per second. Now, because we have two masses and they're both moving and we have two velocities, uh, we're gonna try and figure out what is the vol final velocity of mass one and final velocity of mass two. And I like to just make a little picture. Okay, so I draw maybe one a little bigger than the other for mass one is bigger than, is greater than mass two. And the initial velocity of number one is eight and the initial velocity of number two is 2.5. So I make a little picture like that and I can see, okay, the mass number one is gonna kind of overtake and collide with mass number two. And we can even think about what's gonna happen you know, with our values when we do those calculations. But we're just gonna calculate those values. It's pretty straightforward. We're gonna get out our equations and these are the two equations we use to calculate the final velocities for elastic collisions. Um, we have this is the equation for mass number one, and this is the equation for mass number two. Now it looks a little complicated maybe, but it's really it's just the masses and the velocities, and we gotta make sure kind of the most important thing is we know how to do a little math, a little bit of order of operations. Okay, so we're gonna do mass number one first, of course. So we have M1 and M2 and V1 initial and V2 initial and Nothing is zero here, so nothing cancels out. So we're just gonna plug all the values in. Okay, it's good to just kind of go step by step. This is the first term, 3.8 minus 1.5, and then we add the two masses multiplied by eight. And we basically do something similar. It's two times 1.5, add the two masses together, divide, and then multiply by 2.5, all right? So we're gonna have one term, and we're gonna have two terms. And when we do that, the first term turns out to be 3.47 would be meters per second. And the second term turns out to be 1.42. Well, both terms are positive. So the final velocity of mass number one is 4.89 meters per second. Okay, now that should make a little bit of sense because mass number one is moving at eight meters per second. Initially, it collides with the second mass and then it's gonna slow down a little bit and it's gonna give some of its energy to the other mass, mass number two. So the final velocity for mass number one is 4.89 meters per second. Okay, now we're basically gonna do the same thing for mass number two. We have a similar kind of equation, similar equation, just make sure you keep your M1s and two straight and your initial velocities for V1 and V2. Plug those values in and you get that. You have those two terms. If you do those carefully, you'll find out that the first term equals 11.47 meters per second. Now this is, you have to be a little bit careful. This is a positive sign, but this is 1.5 minus 3.8. So this is gonna have a negative value. This is a negative term here. So this is negative and we get that that's minus 1.08. So we gotta make sure we subtract and not add those two together. You're adding a negative number actually. And then you find out that the final velocity of mass number two is 10.4 meters per second. And that should make a little bit of sense because this is 2.5 gets collided on, collides with this one, which is up, uh, overtaking it. So its velocity is going to increase and it increases to 10.4 meters per second, okay? So there you go. I think that uh, once you kind of get that math down with the uh, equations and you know your order of operations, then you should be able to get those correct answers pretty easily. Check your math a couple times. Okay, here's the picture we had before. And this is the picture we have after. You can see they were both moving and then they collide and they're both moving off to right. Of course, uh, the velocity of mass number one decreases and the velocity of mass number two increases. Okay, so there you go. Um, we went through that kind of step by step. I think it's pretty straightforward as I said. Thank you very much for watching. 
Um, if you found the video helpful, please do all of the following four things. Subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, please don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them how much you care. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.